Well, bless the afternoon, friends and folks. We're here at the Iron Church. We're popping off on the guns. We're popping off on the tricep. You put that gun on that tricep, well, you got you a good pure shooter. Work on the forearm so the barrel's nice and straight. Well, you're all, your squad automatic weapon is ready to fire, sir. <laughs> now, speaking of fire, Proverbs 17, 3. <sighs> fire test pure to you, silver and gold, but the Lord tests the heart. I can always wake up to that ammunition and have strength renewed and refreshed such as the eagles every day. But today, I had a lesson, or yesterday rather, I can't remember, but this is what I want to share with you. This is the end of Matthew, Matthew 28. I'm going to go 18 through 20. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Remember, you can have on earth as you have in heaven, all because of him being your high priest. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, of Gohak, God, and of Jesus Christ, and the Hunkwai Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you even, always. I am with you always, even, to the end of the age. To the end of the age. A lot of people, I've been seeing a lot of posts lately. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm not a paste it to the wall kind of guy. So please don't ask me to do that because I'll disappoint you each and every time. I'm not going to do a sinner's prayer that's formatted. When I gave my heart to the Lord January 5th, 2008, I seen the sinner's prayer and I didn't do that at all. I gave what was bothering me in my heart to the Lord after 22 years of being in bondage to brew, brew, beer, drugs, booze, and just overall foolishness. So <laughs> I'm not the one to follow a format. What I am is the one to pour out my heart. Therefore, what you have is someone standing in the fire. You know, you know the story of Nebuchadnezzar where he made his statue and uh, Meshach, Abednego, and Michelle. Those three, they wouldn't, they wouldn't bow before the statue. And then, so Nebuchadnezzar had him thrown into the furnace. And when he threw him into the furnace, there was a fourth one there and he was amazing looking. That was Jesus. That's the fourth one. You're never alone. Those three weren't alone. They were so awesomely ready to die for the Lord that even if they died, they would have still praised him. They wouldn't bow before that, but God blessed him so much. Not even their clothes were burned or nothing. Sounds like fairy tale stuff, but I'm telling you, if you read this word, if you apply it, the fried bread of life, the bread of life unto your soul, and you give your, give your spirit man or spirit woman the living waters of that word, you will see differently. This book has turned atheists into believers, Satanists into believers, you know. So let's all together as children of God and know that he is with you to the end of the age. No matter how lonely you think you are, me and my wife just, my wife is gone. We put her in the ground like eight months ago. But you know what? I'm not lonely because that's, the, that's his joy and his peace is her past all understanding. All right, I haven't done these in a while. It's got six pounds on here, so let's get on this. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Since I got no cables, I improvised overcoming the doubt. Ain't a way. <laughs> you could stretch right there. Feel the tension. Feel uh, uh, the triceps of the blood right here. Oh yeah, get them three hits going good. Uh, there it is. Here's a little extra bonus fun fact with you. Lord of which you, even into the end of the age. Why, yes. To the end of your bitterness, the bitter, the end of your rage, the end of the bondages that are holding you down. And 
in that end there's a new beginning where he's the alpha and the omega we bless the iron journey to the